Alright, welcome back. So, I've been working on this. I changed a couple things. Um, I've learned a couple things. Um, honestly, only two of my guys here are for attacking. Uh, Dolma and Ziza. Argus is going to kind of heal, and if we can stay above board with him, we'll start attacking with him later. Elaine is here for healing and casting magic medicine. Um... I fought him three times since I lost, and you guys saw me lose. Um, I beat him the last time, so I kind of have a game plan. Um, the one thing that I will tell you is a lot of this fight is luck. If he casts a certain of the attacks in a row, you lose. Um, he has too many attacks that hit too many of my that hit all of my characters for me to really heal. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get my attacker ready. Giant glove. For here, we switch up. We're gonna cast no shock, no blaze, and no frost. Hopefully, we'll get them off first. We do not. Not a great start, but we'll, we'll make good. Dumbo should hit harder now. And while we wait for Dumbo to hit, we're gonna hit, go ahead and use Giant's Glove here. Now, this is where I'm gonna change some things. Um, I'm gonna go to Items here. And we're gonna go to White Robe and we're gonna cast Invisible with him. We're gonna cast Temper. We want our attackers attacking at full strength. By the way, ah, this is gonna hurt. If you have a white mage, you can cast Null All, and it really does help. But I don't have a white mage. He can cast haste. Ah, oh, he's gonna hit us once more magic. Man, that's three magics in a row. By the way, if he cast, if, if Chaos cast uh, any of his cure things, I'm more than likely going to lose. Okay. Yeah, he should hit like a tank now, and that's a big part of this fight. I might have messed up, but we're going to find out. Alright. So now we're doing full damage, which is a great thing. The issue now is I'm about to lose... Can I get Elixir off before the attack? If not, I'm going to lose the Elixir. Ah, I'm going to lose the Elixir. And Ziva. That sucks. I think we're still in a good position for this. Alright, I need... I 
don't think this is going to help me all that much, but... Alright, we're good. Keep attacking, come on. Um, oh, I was going to cast Temper again. So I'm not worried about Earthquake, because Earthquake will generally miss us. Yep. survive this. We might make this. Ooh, this could be close. Nope, he's dead. Oh, he survived. Oh, wow. As long as he doesn't cast Cure, I think we're fine. Oh my. Come on. Ah, we got him! On the first try back. Yes! I barely, man. <laughs> Two of my guys have less than 100 life. I don't like this boss at all. It's a little too random, um, especially with the characters I chose. If I would have chose a white and black mage, we could have ended this a lot quicker, but I did not. So I went with fighters. Thanks for whoever decided that on, on you Google. They ruined me. The time loop was severed at last. The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended and peace prevailed once more. The light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the chains of Garland's wrath. but magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world. That trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends. Monsters ran rampant and the world sank into darkness. But all that is now past. With the four forces flowing as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world they 
knew. A world where Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland himself await. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling into a loop? Who's Jane, by the way? It said Jane. I don't remember meeting a Jane. None can say. You can't get away with that. You gotta tell us. It seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. But the bravery of four young travelers changed that. They took the forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to bathe the world in light. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured. For the breaking of the chain means that it never existed. What? But within the tales of fantasy that people tell, the memory of their deeds lives on. What? If they don't remember and it doesn't exist, how does the memory live on? Tales of dwarves and elves, of dragons and shining civilizations that reach for the heavens even as they fell. And now, their return is upon us. With the memory of their struggle buried deep in their hearts, they will quietly watch over our world. Remember always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. That the power of light must never be used for dark and that the true crystal resides in your heart. For you are the warrior who's crossed time. I am? Cool. More. Cool. Why not? You are the bringer of light. This one's probably going to get copyrighted pretty badly, I think.
So one of the things that's kind of cool about this game, and probably one of the reasons why the story was not um, absolutely great, this was a last-ditch effort, and that's the reason why it's called Final Fantasy. Um, this was really expected to be the last game that Square made when they were teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. Um, Oh, that, said, that seems not to be true. Oh, well, good to know. I'm glad I said that out loud. Okay, well, the, what I'm seeing here is um, Square wasn't doing great, and if this game would have flopped... Um, the creator would have quit making games and went back to college. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into any more details. Well, we can talk about that some other time. Um, so, here's the thing. In the original game, there's no extra anything. Once you beat the game, that's it. So, if you clear, say, if you save right here, you clear your data and you start the game over. Um, with your beast area intact, but and that's cool. Uh, with the Game Boy version, you don't want to do that because I have four more dungeons to go through. Um, I will be covering those. I have no idea how this is going to work um, because they're just dungeons. I think for the first one, I'm going to go through it and let you guys watch it, fight the secret boss, and then there's four secret bosses in the first one. So I'll let you see each. I'll get to the end, and then you'll watch all for the secret boss fights. I've never done these dungeons. I don't know how hard they're going to be. I know two of the bosses in the later ones are supposed to be the hardest bosses in the actual game, which is something Final Fantasy is kind of famous for. So, <coughs> having said that, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Don't really care. I succeeded in something that I didn't know I was going to be able to do on the first try, so I'm going to take a deep breath, and I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.